Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Just wanted to do a quick video. I have been on Tuxedo OS now for 60 days. And I'll have to say, I am quite impressed. And I've had a lot of people ask me in my comments, what is your workflow like? What are you using Tuxedo OS for? Well, I've actually got it on this laptop, which is a Pulse 15 Gen 2 Tuxedo laptop. And I also have it on a backup HP laptop. And I use them both probably 80% of the time. But on this one right here, uh, I'm going to go over some things real quick. I'm running two businesses completely off of this laptop. And when I say two businesses, I got my IT business and then my promotion business. Now, with my promotion business, I'm doing everything on here. I'm doing my billing, which is uh, basically creating invoices. And I'm also doing promos. I'm doing ads for people that they can put online and things like that. Actually, I put them online for them. But I do all my designing right here. And I do it all right here through GIMP. GIMP makes my job real simple, makes it easy to do. I can create the promos, get them done uh, pretty quick. And these are all the ones that I've done so far for March. So nine days in, and I'm pretty busy. And then my AMP documents, all this right here, are my billing and my invoices that I do right here through only Office. It makes things rather easy and pretty simple. And it just works. Everything runs smoothly. And it's not just the laptop in and of itself. The laptop is a great piece of hardware. It's probably one of the best laptops I've ever used. You know what? I will go out on a limb and say it is the best laptop I've ever used. I've used Macs in the past. I've used Dell. I've used a lot of different things. And this Tuxedo laptop is really, truly impressive. But like I said, I do all of that. I do my ad creation, my billing, and then, of course, I do all of my YouTube things on here as well. But all the tools that I get make things rather simple. I've used Windows a long time in the past. Back when I first started pr my promotion business in 2011, I was kind of hamstrung for about a two-month period using Windows. And I was so glad to get back to Linux because it just makes my job easier. And if you look at some of the things I'm using down here, of course, I've got OBS recording in the background right now. I do 90% of my video editing on Caden Live. It makes things simple. It makes things easy. I do use DaVinci Resolve for some color correction. And every now and then I will use Shotcut for maybe some easier transitions or things like that. And then, of course, GNOME Boxes. You can't say enough about GNOME Boxes. You can just come over here, open it up, and then I can go over to my downloads. And if I want to take a look at an operating system real quick, I just open that up. Go ahead and let it catch itself and go ahead and let it get started. And then it'll have a operating system for me to take a look at uh, in the background before you know it. And it's easy to look at. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click install instant OS. I think it'll boot into a live menu. But it's been really fun to use this laptop and really fun to use this OS. I was so used to Arch and Arch making things what I felt was easier and simpler uh, especially with the AUR being able to get, you know, some of that software out there that you can't get in regular repositories. I haven't really had any issues with that. Um, like I said, I got DaVinci Resolve, but I didn't have to go through AUR to get it. I just installed it. I was able to get my AMD drivers and everything set up, and then that way I could do some color correction. But as you see right there, real simple. It says, Virtual, would you like to switch to 1080p? Sure, let's switch to 1080p. And there you go. I'm running Instant OS in the background right here. I can minimize this if I want to and then continue to do what I want to do in the background. Now, what I do really like about it when I do have a virtual machine open, I'll go ahead and pop up HTOP right there. I'm using about 5.42 gigabytes of the 16 gigs that I have issued to this machine. And I still got a whole other operating system running in the background. I'm going to be covering this operating system here shortly in an upcoming video. This is Instant OS. I've played around with it a little bit, and I've really enjoyed it. It's very impressive. It's, it's I don't know, it's a different take on Linux, obviously. Uh, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I promise you, when I take a look at it, if you're somebody that likes minimalistic and likes things to be easy and quick and not a lot of moving around to get things done, Instant OS is definitely something to take a look at. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and back up over here, and let's go ahead and force shut down. I'll leave that right there, and we'll start that up later when I do my other video. But like I said, it makes things really easy. It makes things simple. It's easy to get around in it. Video editing's pretty easy. 
But for 60 days, what can I say about Tuxedo OS? It has probably surpassed what I thought it was going to do, obviously. Um, I believe the hardware is definitely uh, a plus as well. But even on my HP, it's got about half the RAM and definitely over half the processor. And it's still snappy. It still just lets you get things done. And I hear people all the time talk about Linux Mint, how easy Linux Mint makes things, how easy Linux Mint is for the new person to Linux. I'm just going to say this right here. If you're new to Linux and you want to try something different, I would definitely give Tuxedo OS a shot. In my opinion, it is definitely better than Linux Mint out of the box, no matter what system you put it on. But when you get it and it's on a Tuxedo laptop, especially this Pulse 15 Gen 2, it is really impressive. It's cohesive. Um, it's kind of like getting the Mac OS on a MacBook, even though I loathe both of those. One, I loathe the software for the simple fact that it's not an open source operating system. And two, the repairs or problems that you have with Mac or Apple hardware, excuse me, is just ridiculous. And if you want to hear more about that and the problems trying to get it repaired, check out Lewis Rossman's channel. But basically, I wanted to do this video really quick today to let you all know 60 days in, what do I think? Tuxedo OS. I'm still suggesting it. And I will say this, I got another 30 days that I promised you all I would do, which is a 90 day test drive, but I am going to keep using Tuxedo OS once my 90 day review is over. One, because it makes things easy. Two, because all of my work and my workflow on here has not missed a beat, even though I'm not using an Arch based system. The updates, do take a little bit longer, but I'm okay with that. And I can update in the background while I'm doing my work, just like you can on Arch. So really, it doesn't really matter to me. If it needs an update, I click update. I'll go over here and I'll click minimize and go right back to doing my work. And when it's done, it's done. I don't have to worry about it. It's just done in the background. It's not like Mac or it's not like Windows where you actually have to restart it for the updates to take effect. You get quite a bit of the K software. The KDE software comes with it. That's just a given out of the box. But I'm going to tell you guys something. I've been using Linux for a long time. And this is probably one of the best operating systems I've ever used. For stability, for being able to get your work done, for making workflow easy. And just, you know, when you hit the power button on a computer, unless you're just using it to surf the web and check emails, you want to be able to turn it on, get your work done, and get going and not have to worry about being slowed down in the background by some process that Linux can't pull off. You don't have that issue here. Everything runs smooth. So 60 days in, Tuxedo OS, two thumbs up, five stars, uh, 10 out of 10. It's really awesome. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link it in the description below. And if my previous videos haven't convinced you to go over, download it, and take it for a test drive, please, it only takes 10, 15 minutes to download it open it up in a virtual machine and take a look at it. I promise you, you will be impressed and you will definitely probably want to install it or at least keep it in that virtual machine to play around with for a while. If you do any of the above, please come back and check in with me and drop your impressions in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well and subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.